And what, what, what are you preaching on? Tell me what the Lord's been talking to your heart to share with your folks. We are, yeah, we're going through a, um, a, a series uh, through the 15th uh, called Live Your Faith. Uh, we're talking wow. about living your faith with your mind, living your faith with your heart, yeah. living your faith with your hands, and living your faith with your feet. And then on the 15th, we're having uh, what we're calling Vision Sunday. You know, everybody's 2020 uh, vision things kind of didn't include the vision of what was actually going to happen this year. But <laughs> we're, we're believing for vision for our neighborhoods and for our friends and for our, our places of employment and for our schools. Mm-hmm. We're also believing God for vision for financial uh, provision to uh, grow the church during this time and to expand and reach out. And so we're in a in a expansion mode and we're challenging our uh, challenging our young uh, young people and our adults to yeah. not put their heads under the pillows and to hide from what's going yeah. on but to uh, use this as an opportunity to reach people who are hurting who are afraid who don't know about the future and you know we we have life and health uh, we're not afraid and we know where we're going and we want to give people light and direction so we're, we're doing that on Sundays uh, through the 15th of November. And then I've been preaching through the book of Acts, teaching through the book of Acts on Wednesday nights wow. uh, all year. And uh, it's, gonna, it's a year long project and we'll finish yeah. that up just in time for Christmas. So we've been going through the, how the early church dealt with life and dealt with the, uh, the crises of being a Christian in a sure. Roman controlled world. And it's just a, a wonderful journey. And folk, folk don't realize that the early church literally existed under the heel of the most powerful force on earth at the time, the Romans. You know, and, and um, yeah. every, every aspect of the life was, was you know, controlled by, by this occupying force. That's why Jesus said, if someone right. makes you go a mile, a, a Roman soldier could stop you in the street and say, hey, you, pick up my pack and, and take it a mile. And they would literally walk out a mile. They would count their steps and then they would throw the pack down and say, that's me done and go. And Jesus said, oh, no, no. If someone asks you to go a mile, go them a second mile. So these, these, the oppression that the church was under in the early days is way more severe than what we're living in right now. And, um, and, and they grew. And in fact, the persecution that they, they suffered from was the very thing that made them grow. And if you and I right. can understand that God is in the storm, 